Welcome back to the Anarchy Garage and today I'm going to be cracking on with the bodywork on Smog, our big Unimog U100L and in particular the bottoms of the doors and the tops of the doors are starting to get a lot of surface rust on them and by stopping it in its tracks now it will mean that this has got a much longer life ahead of it. So let's have a look at what products we're going to be using on the Mog. products I'm going to be using then and it's going to be a very basic revitalization on the cab so I'm going to start with a 120 flapper disc to get rid of all those big bits of corrosion and take it as far back to bare metal as I can then I'm probably going to give it a couple of coats of epoxy primer to build the layer back up and then I'm going to use a 320 grit sander on a DA followed by a 500 another couple of coats of epoxy primer and sand it back with 500 again to give it that nice finish then and this is the bit i'm excited about these cans are so cool so normally with a spray can you've got to use a acrylic however this is a really cool design this is a 2k or two pack paint in a can and what you do is pull the pin on the bottom give it a twist and that releases the hardener into the can so that means that the single can will work like a two-pack paint on this. So I'm really excited to actually give this a go for the first time. So let's get cracking on the cab. That's the driver's side of the cab all linished down. And the easy thing to do with this would actually be to have removed the doors and prep them inside. However, this is too big to get in the garage and the weather at the moment is so hit and miss. Leaving the door on is just the sensible thing to do. Now, I have come across a couple of little holes across the bottom here of the door here and also in the wheel arch. Now, that is not such a big problem because little holes means little welds and little plates. If that is left unattended, that can turn into a big problem. It is like a cancer, it just spreads all across it. So catching this right now is great news. It is honestly the thing to do. And when you think about this vehicle, it's 24 years old and there's no serious repairs being along this. It's quite good really for the age of it. So I'm gonna drag the welder out, do a little plate here and here, get some epoxy on and then carry on. Was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late All of my door repairs are now done So all across the bottom here is a new piece of sheet metal And also just up into the wheel arch here as well now I've put a bit of filler on it to get rid of any major imperfections and now I'm going to put some epoxy primer on all of the bare metal areas. While that gets nice and dry I can move on to the other side and start working on that. passenger side of smog and what I'm going to do is actually start by stripping it down this time I was hoping I would get away with it on both sides but the more I look at it the more it's just gonna be easier I take the mirrors off I've got some stickers and decals to come off and also the door handle and then start linishing away at the rust I do know though I have one hole just down here that needs to be repaired so the welder will now to come around this side as well so yeah let's get stuck in to the passenger side of smog Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats 
Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm a I've just realized I forgot to talk about the elephant trunk in the room and this is the stacker that has been added to Smog. The reason we didn't do any filming with this is Smog got checked over by a commercial workshop as soon as it came back from Sunderland. Part of that was obviously the exhaust was broken off underneath so this needed to go into an exhaust shop fast. Now Ellis Fabrications made this and it is a massive stacker made out of stainless and it comes all the way down here it has a brake down at the bottom here so you can still tilt the cab so it does kind of wiggle around at the base of the cab here and then it crosses all the way over underneath and it is absolutely brilliant so yeah check it out ellis fabrications absolutely boss this Got a fine little body and her mind's kinda naughty They say that once you taste it, you can now replace it She could get you high, all the dopamine inside Triggers fast once she's naked, her body's a creation They say the devil made her for his entertainment Okay, so this is the colour match can that I've been wanting to use So firstly, you pop the bottom off the can Then, you've got this wicked, if I can get it off, little ring Now the ring you put into the bottom of the can, pull it and twist, and that activates my 2K primer. So yeah, let's give it a go. I'm really pleased then with the color match on this side, and this is not how to do a paint job. In all honesty, it is pretty terrible, ranging from bugs landing in it, to runs up on the cab here, and overspray pretty much everywhere. However, I have done exactly what I set out to do with this cab, which was freshen it up and stop the rust in its tracks meaning that we can go out and do show season without the rust creeping in all down the bottom of the doors and the wheel arches. So as soon as I can, which will probably be next year, we will be applying probably a different color to the cab. But for now, I'm gonna carry on with the other side. I've done all of the patchwork on the bottom of the sill and I'm gonna start sanding down the filler. Carrying on with the passenger side repairs on smog. The first thing I'm gonna be doing though is actually knocking the filler off on the rear part of the cab where I actually welded a patch in, followed by giving the entire side a really good sand because I've got some glue residue and some more repairs that I've done down the door and obviously this bottom lip as well where it had the brunt of the repair. driver's door back together and as ever I got completely distracted because I've been wanting to put some of this sound deadening on so yes this is a sound deadening sheet it's bitumen based with a foil layer on it as well and all you do is stick it to the inside of the panel heat it up with a blowtorch and the bitumen melts onto the panel forming a complete barrier onto the panel and that means then less vibration less rattles less noise so it'll be a quieter drier place inside the cab for you There we go, that is the front end of Smog all freshened up. And I think you'll agree it was the right thing to do, making sure that all of the doors and the arches look right for this year and also stopping the rust in its tracks. But for now, thanks for watching this episode of the Anarchy Garage. See you next time.